All throughout the 1990s, Nickelodeon was rich with diversity in their original cartoons. But of course, some of these cartoons are more memorable than others from a modern day standpoint. Ah uh, Real Monsters isn't brought up very often, but is undoubtedly classic and does still maintain a cult following. But if you were into Ah uh, Real Monsters back in the day, you might be excited to have heard it was receiving a made-for-TV movie as the series was coming to an end. And how great is that? A huge finale to a cartoon you enjoy? That couldn't be more awesome! Well, unfortunately, that movie never came to release, and in fact, there's controversy surrounding whether or not it actually existed in the first place. With lots of unverified sources, contradictory claims, and bold statements involving the movie, we need to get to the bottom of this movie's existence. Was it ever planned, and do screenshots actually exist? Or is it all a hoax and the claims of production are false? For starters, A Real Monsters was produced by Klasky Chupo and premiered on Nickelodeon on October 29, 1994. It ran for three years, spanning four seasons, and ended on December 6, 1997. The series was often called dark or gritty, due to the animation style and concept. The movie, on the other hand, was rumored to have begun production in 1998, but was allegedly cancelled for being too dark. Now, the first word of this movie's existence is dated 2009, which is 11 years after its alleged cancellation. The earliest discussion I could find about it is on a Pixar forum in late 2009, but OP does say he heard about the rumor elsewhere. At one point, it seems like this was a pretty big discussion topic somewhere, but a lot of the former knowledge doesn't really seem to exist online anymore. So among the garbage of a TV.com listing that says it aired on TV, and the general unverified claims of people who said they've seen parts of it, which they probably just conjured up after seeing the TV.com listing, there are actually two leading areas to look into. The first location is a website called Abe Books, which is some kind of online bookstore. It's not so much the site we're looking at, but one of the items in their inventory. This is apparently a compilation book on cancelled films, and right in the title is Ah Real Monsters. Coincidence? I think so. While I've never really understood what these kinds of books are, I find them occasionally in eBay searches, and from what I gather, they're essentially compilations of random Wikipedia articles or other free online resources, which is confirmed in this other listing on Google Books. Essentially, whatever articles this publisher grabbed at the time the book was printed is what's contained within. And I remember right when this story first broke a couple years ago about that listing, people had assumed it meant without question that Ah Real Monsters the movie was confirmed to exist. And I think it was just really bad timing that something like this had come forward right around the time some people were looking into the movie's existence. Which means unfortunately, this proves nothing and can be discarded. Moving on to the second information area is, ironically, the Ah Real Monsters Wikipedia page. Jumping straight to the bottom is a small write-up about the movie and its cancellation. A lot of it upon second glance is garbage, with that dumb TV.com article and lots of random unnamed sources and random claims of visuals and clips existing. That aside, there is an interesting quote from an alleged animator named Frederick Zowski, which states, The film was cancelled because Viacom bought Paramount. The film wasn't dark, nor were we planning on making it in the first place. Now wait a sec, take a look at that quote again, it sorta of contradicts itself. At the beginning it says the film was cancelled, but then later states we weren't planning on making it in the first place. Does that imply it was drafted for fun but was never taken seriously, or does it mean they never had plans to make it so it was cancelled by default? Since that is a very confusing quote, I made an attempt to track down this person to figure out what they meant. Well, I couldn't find a single person by that name, even after thinking Frederick was spelt incorrectly. Klasky Chupo did say they hired European talent, and that name does sound pretty foreign, so maybe he does exist, but I have no idea why there isn't a source next to the quote, or for what reason he could have said it in the first place. It's also odd though, he said Viacom buying Paramount was the reason for its cancellation. But that purchase was conducted four years before the movie allegedly began development. So how does that affect the movie at all? Almost nothing about this quote makes sense. But let's review what we've uncovered here in regards to this movie existing. TV.com listing claiming it aired. Wikipedia compilation book listing the movie. And Frederick Zowski's unsourced quote, whose name doesn't even come up in a search. Not to mention the completely random people and employees who claim to have seen content from it. But perhaps that's the most important piece of evidence to look at here. Those random people claiming they heard it was cancelled because it was too dark. 
I've always thought it was odd how people claimed its cancellation was due to that reason, since it couldn't have been any worse than the main series, and the crew wouldn't have intentionally made it scarier on purpose. It's for this outlandish cause of cancellation that I believe this movie only lives on in rumor and snowballed by accident as the idea of a movie was passed on through the years, because even if we assume Frederick Zowski's quote is true, it would still prove that the movie wasn't dark and doesn't exist. But even if the quote is not true, the likelihood of the two dark rumors snowballing into fact over the years still holds. I did try to contact Gabor Chupo and Peter Gaffney, who created the series, but Peter only worked on a few episodes in season 1, and Gabor didn't have any way to be contacted that I could find. So for those reasons, I don't believe the movie could have existed at all, especially when the only surviving proof outlets are the ones I covered. The only way I could be wrong is if at some point in the earlier mid-2000s, something of actual substance came forward on some obscure fan site, and its lack of existence nowadays is what makes all the unverified claims seem false. Keep in mind too, if people end ended up believing the cancelled for being too dark theory, then people just as easily could have found one of the many fan scripts involving the movie and confused it as official years ago. When I first started researching this topic I actually thought there was more to it, because there was so much mixed information out there I thought some of it had to be true. But based on my findings I just can't confirm any of it as fact. And until something confirmed to be official comes forward regarding this movie, if it ever does, I don't believe this movie could have existed and there's no way anyone should believe that it did, simply going off of the information that's available online right now.